Good morning, my name is Rich, and you are at Hangsters Hot Rods in Daytona Beach, Florida. Our muscle car showroom here in Daytona Beach, where we have approximately 80 muscle cars for your viewing on hand at all times. Today we're going to present to you our 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, an iconic muscle car. Uh, 67, 68, and 69 Camaros have always been a hot commodity, um, not only in our showroom, but uh, classic car showrooms across the United States. Um, great color here in this car. You got your black, you know, black and reds and blues, they're always real popular. Um, the paint on this car is a nice driver quality paint job. Uh, really nice color combination here with the chrome wheels offsetting the, uh, the black paint with the white stripe across the nose. Really looks like a good car. Uh, dual mirrors on this vehicle. Uh, really nice windshield. Um, nice quality glass in, in the doors. Again, very nice quality, driver quality paint job. Um, doors seem to open and close very well. Body lines on the car are good. Uh, on the interior of the car, steering wheel has, oh, catch the door here, we're on a hill. Steering wheel has no cracks in it. Uh, the interior is real nice, no rips or tears in the interior. Carpeting's all nice, comes with floor mats, carpet's not dry rotted. It has the factory General Motors seat belts, not only in the front, but also in the rear of the vehicle. As Devin will show you, you can check out the rear of the car too. Let's take a peek at the headliner. Headliner's in good shape. Dome light's working. We got some sun visors up there. No rips or tears in the sun visors. The dash is all nice. No rips, tears, cracks in the dashboard. Uh, real nice dash in the car. Again, the, uh, the doors open and close really nice. Chrome on the handle's not perfect, but by all means it's not, uh, you know, really calls for, calls for replacement. There are a couple scratches in the rear windshield um, from, it looks like whoever did the restoration of paint job on this car was too lazy to mask off the uh, rear windshield. Maybe when they were sanding the car, got some uh, scratches on the glass. But it's, it's not terrible. Uh, it is something we could look into replacing if you decided to buy the vehicle and would like new glass put in. We can certainly uh, look into doing that for you. Ch take a look in the trunk here. Trunk's nice and solid, no rust holes, uh, no enough surface rust, no trunk mat, no spare, just so you know. We get asked about the spare and the jack a lot for whatever reason. The uh, trunk lid seems to close flush to the quarters. Chrome on the bumper is in very nice condition. Again, passenger side door, you know, the gaps are, gaps are good, opens and closes good. Again, no uh, tears, imperfections in the door panels. Seats are nice in the car. You know, no matter where you go, <laughs> you pull into a gas station or you, you take the wife out to dinner at a restaurant and you, get, you pull in on one of these and everybody either gives you the thumbs up or is honking the horn or saying nice car. It's just, these classic cars are just, uh, they, they turn heads and they get, they get people's attentions. You got a 327 under the hood, uh, no AC, steering and brakes on this car. Pretty cut and dry. We're going to pull it outside and we're going to see what it looks like on the undercarriage. Okay, so we're underneath our 1967 Chevy Camaro and the uh, front of the motor looks dry. We got that fancy chrome oil pan. I never really understood those, but nevertheless, this one is not leaking, at least not right now. Uh, no drips down the side of the motor indicating valve pan. You know, gasket leaks. Uh, the flywheel is exposed as with most cars down in this area. It allows heat to escape, um, allowing the car to cool faster. So most of them down here in our showrooms are taken off. Uh, the frame rails look good. Floor pans look good. Emergency brake is in place and functioning. Pretty nice car underneath. See, do we have anything seeping? Rear end is dry, dry, dry. 
Um, the rear quarters look good, the drop downs, we got some crappy welding on this side, uh, which we might take care of, we might not. I mean, it's solid, there's no bondo there, so that's the good part. Um, this side's pretty much as good as it can get. Um, gas tank's got no dense dings, caved in. That's another thing, I don't know how people do this, cave in the gas tank. Nevertheless, a nice car underneath. Let's take it for a ride. Okay, fuel gauge on this car is working, reading a little over a half tank. Jeff put 15 bucks in it and it had a little bit in there, so it is functioning. The speedometer does work, you will see that in a little bit. We got windshield wipers on this baby. Awesome. Uh, the retro radio does work, does function. Specialized cancer experts. So you got that going for you. External gauges, oil pressure, temp. We just started the car, so temp's not up yet, but it does work. Voltage. Uh, it's all working. Our turn signal indicators in the instrument cluster, right turn flashing, left turn flashing, and for those of you that are crazy about horns, we're going to have to put a button in under the dash because this one has an aftermarket steering wheel and you don't even have the option to honk the horn. So, Another thing, if you're viewing this on YouTube, go to our website www.hangsters.com for our most recent inventory selection. A lot of people see these videos on YouTube and they don't know where to go and you don't even know if it's a current piece of inventory or not. It might have been something we sold. I get calls all the time. We sold the car three months ago and the people are just seeing it on YouTube. So our most current inventory is at www.hangsters.com. Both of our uh, showrooms, our Florida showroom as well as our Pennsylvania location. Let's take it for a ride. Car runs good. The speedometer is accurate. Um, a lot of times when guys switch trainees or speedo gears or do any kind of modifications to a car, a lot of times the speedometer will be off 5 to 10 miles an hour. This one seems to be on the money at 35 miles per hour. We're in a 40 mile an hour zone. We're doing what feels to me to be 35. The car's got good acceleration. Runs through the gears nice and smooth. There's no shakes in the steering wheel. No annoying noises or rattles that I can hear. I can hear them all. It's riding nice and smooth. There's no lumpy tires, bumps, steering wheels. About as straight as you're going to get. I mean, it's maybe five degrees off, but it's pretty, pretty on the money for these uh, old cars. Nice running Camaro. All right, we turned around. I'm not going to go crazy fast here. I'm just going to show you guys how it uh, runs through the gears nicely. It can get up up to speed. I'm going to let this car in front of me get a little uh, ahead of us here. I'll scare him or her. one of our cars that we offer in our inventory you can hop on our website and contact us via text message email or by phone it's 386-944-9219 and as you can see by the weather outside we are in beautiful Daytona Beach Florida and we also have a location in Homer City Pennsylvania between the two we offer at any time between 80 and 90 muscle cars and we have more than that in inventory we get them up as fast as we possibly can but uh, if there's not something that you see on our website please give us a call because we might very well have it maybe we just it just hasn't made it to the actual site yet